Right, this is Christopher, and this is my, my second video that I actually promised you guys yesterday, and I didn't know exactly what to do, uh, because I had gotten very little sleep. I watched the first two movies I'm actually doing this video for, and why did the videos, they were called, is, the movies were actually, they weren't videos, they were movies, um, they were the human centipede, and I did one and two, well, I ended up finding out that there was a third one afterwards, and I haven't gotten a chance to watch it. So we'll be doing a video on that one next time, after I get to watch it. First, got to find it to try and watch it. We actually watched the first two on Netflix, and I didn't see the third one on Netflix. So I didn't know that there was a third one made. I just found that out from my friend, actually, yesterday, and I was like, crap. Well, I wanted to actually make the video yesterday, but I had so much to do, and I ended up sleeping with the day. I ain't gonna lie. Me and my girlfriend both slept most of the day. And, well, anyways, this is for the videos, or the movies that we had watched. Um, she actually made a movie, or a video on the same exact thing. Um, because we both got the idea, hey, let's make our, let's make a vlog of our own, for our own things about it, and see, like, what happens. So, yeah. Um... The first movie was quite boring, actually, although at the same time, interesting, because I really liked the little Japanese dude, and the, the two girls were just completely dumb. You could tell that they're from or here, whatever. <laughs> so, no, um, no, I, it's just, they, they went there, and the dude asked them a series of questions, and they're, like, completely honest, and the, you could tell the dude was really creepy. God, I smell good. Sorry, I put on cologne, because, um... I had stuff to do today, so yeah, so it was really good. Um, <laughs> so it's really good. <laughs> but no, um, here, anyways, the girls uh, answered every question like nonchalantly, like nothing was going on because the dude was so was so creepy, and I would have just said no to some of the questions, seriously. But no, nah, it's just, it's a script, so I can't just point out the logics in a stupid movie. But like. Because it's kind of like pointing out logic in anime. There is no logic and it's really stupid. And it's like, like you're the one who wrote it. <laughs> Plus if you write something with logic. It probably sound, it probably makes sense. And you don't want things to make sense at times. Especially if it's a, if it's a movie one people would guess. Why the hell did you just do that? <laughs> so yeah. Um, but no. This, uh, the first one was actually very interesting. Uh, the Both movies didn't give me any squeamishness. Or any I'm going to puke kind of moments. My girlfriend did, did, did though. She actually threw up during the second movie. Um, yeah, poor girl. Uh, she kept on asking me, she goes, how can you watch this? This is just so nice there. I was like, it doesn't phase me. I mean, she goes, but you have a weak stomach. Only to the surgery parts. Other than that, I'm perfectly fine. <laughs> so, she like, she basically thought, like, okay, whatever. So, um, but anyway, the, f the first movie was, like I said, quite boring, because nothing went on. The girls, like, answered questions like, Oh, yeah, sure, like, we're totally just friends and everything, and... Oh, yes, I'd love to have a drink of water. And yes, we're totally alone. Or from New York. It's like, okay, whatever. That sets you up very perfectly to be kidnapped and kept in some creepy dude's house is going to perform creepy surgery on you Yeah. Um, no, they had a little Asian dude there, a little Japanese dude. Um, they ended up having to kill the first guy because his DNA didn't match, I guess. So they end up going and getting a little Asian dude, a little a Japanese guy. He's super cute. Japanese or Asian equals sexiness in my, in, in my book and in the book of anime. So, if you're if you're Asian or Japanese or whatever, that means you're sexy. <gasps> Anyways, no, <laughs> it's just a thing with with friends of mine. If you're a Asian, you're sexy. So yeah. Um, sorry if for anybody that is Asian, please don't take the, that that the wrong way. It's just what we, it's just what we say. Um, but no, um, there's not really much to say about about the first one honestly because it was just lame. There wasn't much to it. You couldn't really, um, you didn't know the motives of why the doctor was doing what he was doing. Um, all you knew was the fact that he had a weird fish. Which, speaking of fishes, I'm pretty sure Tom Six, the guy that actually makes the movies, has a huge fecophilia fetish or whatever the heck it's called for feces. Or yeah, 
it's kind of nasty, very nasty. By the way, I love my hat. It's a, it's a spread. I'm a sporadic person, so like I told you, I have random thoughts. But my hat is a creeper from Minecraft, and I love it. But yeah, um, but no, the second movie was actually a lot better. I really enjoyed it. I loved it actually. It was quite interesting. It was a it, because there was an actual storyline to it. I actually felt bad for the guy doing everything because. He, he like, I don't know, he had trauma in his life because of his father. And his mom, like, she constantly wanted to kill herself, uh, constantly put him down and wanted to kill him. And tried to get him killed with a guy upstairs, I guess, or something. And it was really, really sad. I was like, you poor guy. And then he does all this weird stuff, trying to kill, he goes and kills everybody and... He gets the idea because his favorite movie happens to be the first, excuse me, sorry, uh, the first, um, Human Centipede, and who knew that, like, it was a movie in a movie, wow, so, um, he, I ended up liking it, and he had this book made on it, on how to, like, do everything right, and it was creepy, I'm like, wow. So he actually tried to get 12 people together to do it. He only ended up with 10 because two ended up dead. Well, one did. One of them survived. But, oh yeah. Um, but no. It was rather interesting because um, the dude had, had trauma in his life. And that's what made the story better. Because he was actually able to do stuff with his story. Well, um, they actually did something with a storyline based on his his life and that's what led him up to I guess what he wanted to do or something because of the traumas in his life I honestly don't really fully understand it I think my girlfriend understands it more than I do because um I don't know I, I I watched it I paid attention but I didn't actually see too much on why he wanted to actually do it all I all I got was the fact that like he was hurt a lot by his family and probably made fun of a lot so he, that's where he probably got the idea that like, hey, yeah, I'm going to like tell you do this because this is my favorite movie, this is interesting, and I'm going to do it. I don't know. He and he was mentally challenged. So, and for those of you that don't know what mentally challenged means, mentally challenged means mentally retorted, which is a very nasty term. I do not like it actually. I can I call it mentally challenged for a reason, and it's just oh, it might just notice my camera went all weird. I if. If um, if it changes on on you, I tell you when to do this. Yeah. Anyways, um, but no, um, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm actually quite confused now. Oh, um, but no, the second movie was actually very interesting. But it was quite quite disgusting too because, um, he he didn't know what he was doing. There was blood everywhere, more than in, more than in, in the first one, and it was like, oh, fuck no. And um, here, it wasn't black and white, so it looked like chocolate syrup. So it kind of made me hungry for chocolate syrup. Chocolate milk. Uh, yeah. So, um, here, also, um, he used staples to try and staple their mouths to the anus. For those of you with a squeamish mouth, or a, sque a squeamish stomach, um, you might not want to watch the rest of this, because, yeah, it's kind of nasty. But, um... He actually stapled their mouths or whatever to their to the anuses of the other people, and he couldn't get them to do anything. He tried giving them belly massages to try and get them to you know number two, and he couldn't do anything. So he got a laxative and he basically stuck it in their butts with a needle, and he injected them with laxative, and it was explosive poo everywhere, and it was quite nasty. It didn't phase me because well that stuff doesn't phase me, but um. It's like, holy crap, no pun intended, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was quite nasty, like, really, holy crap, again, no pun intended, <sighs> but no, my girlfriend actually threw up at that, because, like, uh, um, it started going everywhere after a while, and it was exploding everywhere, and, uh, through the staples and stuff, and it was quite disgusting, uh, like, yeah, you won't lie, but, um, yeah. Yeah, well, everyone, the, everyone died except for um, the one lady, hopefully, because she was pregnant, although I'm quite mad at her, 
uh, she ended up doing something with her baby. But she had the baby in the car when she escaped because she ended up going into labor. She smashed the baby with her foot to try and accelerate the car to get away. That actually made me cry because I love babies. I love kids. And I actually cried at that. I know, I'm totally lame. But yeah. Um. I just. I got really emotional with that. So I'm sorry. Um. Here. The, the the dude, the main character, actually survived too. They ended up showing him afterwards in his little office where he works and like nothing ever happened. And luckily the child that he took his parents away from and everything is still alive and the thing, I was actually quite happy about that because I was afraid he was going to kill the child. But now the child actually survived and it, you, you can hear the child at the end of the video crying but I'm actually happy that the child sur survived so... I was afraid that the baby was going to die. It had to be like a two-year-old, so yeah. All right, well, this is the end of my video, so um, thank you very much for actually listening, and I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry for the rambling. I'm sorry for any confusion. And I'm sorry for the for the nasty um, description of what was happening in the movie, but yeah, it's just I felt like I should try and talk about that because well, it's something that impacted my girlfriend in it, and then the thing with the baby is what impacted me because. It actually made me cry, and I thought like maybe that might be good to try and talk about because it's it's sad, it's disgusting, but I felt like I don't know. It was something that impacted me that actually hit me because it made me cry. So I felt like I should try and talk to you about about that and what I did whenever I saw it. So I'm sorry if I upset any of you with you hearing that. So please forgive me. And if you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like. And I would be happy to answer any questions. If anyone of you have any questions for anything that you'd like me to do in any of my next videos. Because I need help trying to come up with some ideas for videos because I'm new at this. Um, my main thing is I want to do video gaming for Let's Plays and everything. But I actually um, I don't have the things for it right now. Like I don't have the camera to try and do everything to get camera on me while I'm playing the game on my laptop or wherever else. So, um, if anybody has any ideas for any kind of vlogs or I don't know, challenges or something that you'd like me to try and do, I do not mind. Um, as long as I can do it on my laptop here. But yeah, thank you very much and please enjoy. Bye.